mitochondria are the energy factories of the cell. They, they produce the energy or ATP that our cells and tissues use to carry out their, their tasks. But with Mellis syndrome, there's a breakdown in that process, causing a range of symptoms. At the milder end of the spectrum, uh, people may have, or patients may have, short stature, and then they will have hearing loss. Common early symptoms include muscle weakness and pain, recurrent headaches, loss of appetite, vomiting, and seizures. Most patients with Mellis syndrome begin experiencing stroke-like episodes where there's temporary muscle weakness on one side of the body, altered consciousness, and vision abnormalities, usually beginning before age 40. Previous studies show that a lack of the compound nitric oxide may be the reason behind these strokes, but researchers have found one protein that may restore the compound. Two building blocks of proteins, two amino acids, arginine and citrine, and both of them restored the production of nitric oxide. So far, researchers have found citrulline was more effective at repairing those levels and are now conducting a trial to see what is the safest maximum dose that can benefit patients and reduce their risk for stroke-like symptoms. I'm Marty Salt reporting.